have got a lot going on today, a lot. We had a really long summer in Oregon here and now it is definitely fall, which means I have a lot of like gardening work to do. Spring and fall are like intense gardening. So now I'm gonna be uh, pruning down all the hydrangeas outside, doing some weeding. I wanna trim the hedge out front. Uh, Pete always tells me I'm infamous for having this really long to-do list. Like I expect a lot out of myself each day and I always expect that I'll get all these things done, you know, and I'm like disappointed if I don't. Um, so I'm just gonna do what I can. I, I think I actually have like a couple days worth of work that I need to get done, um, but I'm just gonna rock it out. I'm up early, I made a little breakfast burrito. And so anyways, got pruning to do. I'm gonna do something really fun with all my hydrangeas because I have a ton of them outside right now. I'm gonna do something fun in the dining room with them. I don't know if I'll have time in this video to do it. If I do, I think you're gonna love it. Um, and then I'm gonna bring all of the leftover ones to Pete's workplace so he can just leave them in the break room for people and they can enjoy some fall blooms themselves. I wanna show you my gardening overalls though. I feel like any of you that are gardeners and like just lovers of plant life like I am, you need these overalls. I have to show you. <laughs> Look at these bad boys. You know that brand, um, it's called Duluth Trading. I've always seen their commercials on TV. They have like those funny commercials for like men's underwear, <laughs> but they have women's clothing too. And they kept um, like advertising on the sidebar of my, my email and all these overalls were popping up, women's gardening overalls, and I was like, I need those. So I ordered them and they're really great. Uh, you can actually order them in length, which is nice. I was able to order talls, but they come in petite too, but they're like a stretch. They're like this really soft, stretchy, like in between a canvas and kind of like a tent material. I don't know what you'd say, but they have a ton of pockets. They have like zippered ones up here and like all these little divider ones where you could put, I don't know, tools or whatever. And then these really nice deep side pockets, cargos, like there's a ton of storage. So when I'm outside like doing pruning and stuff, I can have a place to poke my gloves and my pruning shears. And I wanted to show you like the knees too. That's pretty cool. Full on garden geek this year at you. Uh, this is the real me by the way. <laughs> Um, the knees are pretty cool because they're like reinforced and then they're um, contoured. So you can, you know what I mean? Like they don't pull and bend. And the reason why I liked overalls is because, you know, with like gardening, you're on your knees and you're bending and I don't want like everything hanging out when I'm in the front yard weeding. Uh, so these overalls are like super awesome, but I'll link these down in the description for you if you're a garden geek like I am. <laughs> it is just a mess out here in the garden. I'm probably not going to have my annual garden tour that I normally do for you because we have like full construction going on behind you and I'll show you in a little bit, but things are pretty torn up back here. I wanted to show you though, uh, all of the hydrangeas. We had a rain last week and they got really heavy and flopped all over and they didn't perk back up because they have a lot of weight, you know, on those flower heads and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be cutting down today. My dad said he's gonna come over and kind of help me uh, prune everything back. I'm gonna take it down, I think, as much as I can to get the blooms and then I'll do like a final, like intense pruning. I think I've had these for like five or six years and you can see behind me, I have them all kind of continuing around the fence here. I have one, two, three, I only have four. Good thing because these are like Mondo, they're taking over the garden. But um, I don't really do anything special. I think if I were to give you like a really good tip for gardening is like do your research and find out where plants like to live in the sunlight or do they like shade, how much water content they like in the soil. And like then from there, it's kind of a no brainer. But um, these ones really loved this spot along the fence. And we got our soaker hoses installed this year too. So I think that was really helpful. But every year, this time of year, I cut them back down for fall. A lot of people, this is kind of like a controversial thing with hydrangeas, but a lot of people leave them like this and they will have like the blooms on their hydrangeas and they're all dried out. And then come spring is when a lot of people prune down their hydrangeas. I always do it in the fall and this has always worked for me. I get like a hundred blooms per plant and I fertilize them once a year. They're really easy to take care of. I think if you just find the right spot and find out your rhythm for pruning. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna be working on today. <laughs> 
I did want to show you this. I just dug in like a bear the other day because I just wanted to get this done. But our porch, I think I mentioned this in the summertime, like we put a rug over it because a lot of the boards were getting really spongy and it started to get dangerous. Like we were starting to get kind of holes in the porch and stuff, but it's time for a replacement. This porch was done in the 1990s and I don't think it was done with the best quality materials. So we had a lot of water damage underneath the paint and had a lot of like wormwood in there, it was so gross. <laughs> I wanted to save some money on the project and I thought, you know what? I can't build anything, but I can certainly destroy stuff. So I went in with the demo and my dad helped me on the second day for the front part of the house. But I just went in here with a crowbar and a hammer and started popping up boards. And this is pretty deep. Like if I get in there, it's about waist deep. Okay, here's the pile. Now you can see why I'm not doing garden tour this year because this is all it's going to be going to Pete's mom's house. Luckily she lives in the country so we can have a really good burn pile there and bring all this stuff. And I got to wash cushions and all these things. This summer was so busy, you know, with my parents moving and just trying to get stuff done here on top of that. So I don't know, I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna promise anything. I want to, but like this is real life right now. Look at this little baby boo. Look at this little nugget. Mm. Do you know that Grandma, Grandpa, Jeremy are coming over today? Gram Grandma, Grandpa, Jeremy, we're gonna do yard work. Are you excited? I'm driving Pete's truck this week and it stinks in there. So I'm gonna go clean out his truck, like do a quick clean and like wipe the dash. He always keeps old tennis shoes and things like that in there. So I'm gonna clean that out today. Uh, but that's also something that I like to do in the fall before we get a lot of rain here in Oregon is kind of like detail and clean out the cars because it gets harder to do that, you know, when it's raining, like who wants to go outside and, and clean out their car. So I'm gonna take advantage of that today while well, we got some sunshine in that altar. Over the summer, I put one of these drift car fragrances in my car and we both loved it so much. So I thought I would put one on Pete's visor while I'm in here cleaning. But if you haven't tried these yet, they're pretty cool. Uh, Drift is all made in the USA and they're made of sustainable products. So your starter kit when you order comes with this metal clip visor and then the block of wood is where all the scented like yummy oils are. And oh my gosh, this scent is so good. I ordered Grove and they come out with like a limited edition fragrance that you can choose from in your subscription. And Grove is kind of like this really yummy, like sugary citrus smell with like a little bit of greenery in, it, in there. So I feel like it'd be really good in Pete's truck, but they're super easy to install because they have this cool like magnetic clip that just sucks right onto the visor clip here and you just slide them like right on top of your visor. Their subscriptions are really flexible. You can choose your scent, your frequency, and then you can cancel at any time. If you wanna check out Drift, use my coupon code VINTAGE for 55% off. It's less than five bucks for your first month. This is one plant and I have three more to do. Crazy, but look at all those beautiful colors. I think that's gonna be really exciting to have in the break room for everyone.
Fran sent me when I had a flower delivery. But it's supposed to, you like, it's kind of hard to squeeze, but you like grip it like this and you run the stem through it and it like de-leaves the stems. It's like when you're, I'll show you. Okay. Suck it around like this. When you pull the stem, it pulls all the leaves off. Then you can throw it in your vase a lot easier. But I'm gonna do that real quick. It's all the ones that Pete's gonna bring to work. Well, Selena has lots of bouquets in her garden, so we got more than enough for every room to have a bouquet. So we're giving out free bouquets in the front of our house. <laughs> Mom just wrote a free sign out front, so we're just gonna go put these on the corners. Whoever walks by can have them. Yeah, they're really pretty. <laughs> you can either put them in water or you can just let them dry. They're still good to dry too. Bouquets falling out of my box. <laughs> I was going to help, but then I wanted to get this cute video of you carrying them. <laughs> well, Selena and her dad are outside working their fingers to the bone. I was in the house watching a really good movie <laughs> called The Wilderness. <laughs> it's like seven episodes, and I'm only on episode four, and they came in the house. So I'm going to have to binge watch it some other time. I was watching, then you guys came in, so I quit. I don't trim dirt all over my face. I didn't even look at myself after gardening. Oh. Um, I'm going to... Oh, my mom. I got these little uh, pizza pans at TJ Maxx years ago. They're like little tiny personal size ones. And my mom really wanted some. And we were really lucky last time we went to Home Goods, she got the last set that they had because I've been keeping an eye out for her. But these are so perfect for like personal size pizza. So I bought the dough from the grocery store and I'm letting that rise like out in the sun right now. And then we're just going to make our own little personal size pizzas. They're they're perfect because I like Canadian bacon and pineapple, and her dad likes meaty things, with <laughs> lots of meat on stuff, and I don't like lots of meat. Well, I don't have Canadian bacon, though. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of like a high demand, Mom. Oh, great. <laughs> Here I had my sights on a Canadian. Uh, you, you brought pineapple, though? Yeah. Well, pineapple's good with pepperoni. You could. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Whiskey sour. Right, happy hour. And then they measure adequately. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> my measurement. Then you push it on your pan. No, whoop, whoop. don't push it because then you're going to push all the air oh, out. In the hole. And then you end up with a little flat. So, oh, you make it like a... Just work your way from the inside oh, out. Oh, like they do. See, like you roll your fingers. Oh, I seen that guy down there at Schmitza. Oh, if you want to throw yours in there and give it a dog <laughs> hair on it, go for it. <laughs> the Pete, the Schmitza guy goes like, mm -hmm. and he had one like this big around, and he was just twirling it around. <laughs> Don't try that here. You yeah. a dog hair in your dough. Get some flowers in it and everything. Heroes. Just work your hair. See how you just go in a circle like that? Okay. Oh, I just make, keep smashing it. Just keep smashing it. And then if you get a hole in it, you just pinch the dough. You're, you're pushing yours like, what are you doing? You're making a little, go, a little go, baby go, cake. Go like this around in a circle, Dick. You work your way from the inside out. Just keep pushing it just out. Just keep like going that. in this. But let, you got holes in here. See how, so then you get rid of the. Find a hole in there. All I can say is I'm pitiful when I see it. My God, you <laughs> Let the weight. Of it, see how I'm holding. I'm not holding mine like this. Let the weight let the drag weight this down. Pull you. Yeah, just keep working it between your. Thumbs. You're just going on the same thing, Dick. Go around in a circle. Yeah, move. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, Jim. <laughs> your pizza is gonna be off a little. Ours is gonna be big and juicy. I'll still be here at nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a little piece of cardboard pizza. Yeah, I had to film my dad. He's kind of spent tonight because he couldn't get the pizza. They're still so waiting. So he just went to take a nap. You know that's the only thing I noticed. He... What? Oh no! Push it up. Push it up. Push it up. Push it up. Oh, now you're not making my pizza. They're digging in your <laughs> <laughs> Extra digging topping, nose, extra runs. topping on dicks. <laughs> Those because cost extra. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness sake. Keep track of which one is dicks. <laughs> Mine's over here. <laughs> this, is there a way we can mark them so we don't get his? <laughs> yep. Well, I'm glad you're having fun with me. Uh, you should have seen the pizza smitza guy. He was throwing them in there. He had probably a 20 inch piece of it going. I was like, holy moly. I thought, I hope he shaved his arms because he was like laying oh, across gross. his arms. You know, he's laying it on his arms. I was like, oh, hairy arms. That's weird because like, you got to wear a hairnet there, but then you can slap it over a hairy arm. I don't know. Wouldn't you shave your arm if you're laying dough all over it? Oh, that's kind of sick. I hope. Oh, well, it cooks in the oven. I don't care. <laughs> I'll eat it. It's do not have, pepperoni. Do you have gloves it. on? I'm just pushing it up here, Dick. I'm pushing it up here. 
No, you're no, worried no, if the no. guy had gloves on and you just dug well, your I nose. I these guys on TV. <laughs> and you just picked your nose, <laughs> yeah, picking like, your dough. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do next. <laughs> Great, folks. Here's Dix down here. <laughs> trying to Welcome to Cooking with Seniors. <laughs> okay. Okay. This yeah. is olive oil, like a whipped olive oil, garlic, and red pepper flake. Mm -hmm. And this is a little, little secret. It makes it extra delicious. Just brush that on the dough. No, um, I don't remember you guys listening to him, but I love Billy Idol lately. Oh, we listened to him a long time Billy ago. Billy Idol? I was watching some interviews on YouTube when he was like in his 20s. Yeah. There's like yeah. David Letterman interviews and he's like kind of like weird and ex yeah. eccentric. Real like, eccentric. But it was like kind of cool because everyone I feel like in entertainment is trying to be weird. Like they're trying, trying to. Trying to be, but he, and he was. he was actually legitimately kind of weird. He, he was that way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he's like amazing. I was listening to his new stuff because he was singing with his guitarist just acoustically and like his vocals like yeah, top-notch it's like so yeah, cool he was, he was important part with the dough is don't build your pizza and then put it all in or you end up all doughy so i like half bake this and then we come out and build the pizzas after they're half baked yeah mine's on the corner and slain's on the corner her dad's and dad. dad's dad <laughs> you want two teaspoons on yours i want lots of sauce on mine let me see how much this i get mom's getting sauced I'm getting sauced. to the beach and I'm really excited but I'm also a little bit nervous I'm gonna be <laughs> riding an e-bike for the first time and I was telling Pete I don't think I've been on a bicycle for over 20 years it's been a long time and they say that like you never forget these things so I'm hoping that's true <laughs> but I have a feeling I'm gonna like the e-bike situation because it does a lot of the work for me <laughs> which sounds super appealing <laughs> but uh, we're just gonna kind of go explore some little roads in the forest and you know head over to the beach and just kind of have a fun day together. We found the perfect place for me to learn how to ride a bike again. <laughs> we found this awesome nature trail that borders along one of the local bays and it has really, really wide trails that are all nicely graveled, gorgeous overlooks of the bay where we can see all of the wildlife and bird life. It's so beautiful here. I feel like it grips the gravel pretty well. Like you could ride this on pavement easily, but it goes from pavement to gravel and then we're eventually going to try it on the beach i'm hoping because yeah, it'll be yeah. really fun in the sand and stuff but um super comfortable and it has this is their step through bike so this area here is nice and low so you can you know get on and off easily and swing your legs through which is nice um yeah, it's bringing back a lot of memories. I feel like I'm like 12 years old on a bike again. It's been a long time. Also, like when you start up in the bike after you power it on, like if you just put your foot down on the pedals, it, that's what triggers like the e-bike action. So, and then if you want to go like extra fast for some kick, you hit that throttle button. So I'll give you a little go. But um, yeah, you can pedal this thing like a normal bike or go full e-bike electric mode. Like when you start to get tired and lazy, I definitely recommend just hitting that throttle and, and coasting, because why not? <laughs> All right, see ya. <laughs> I'm going to hit the throttle for a lot. I got my little mini backpack with me <laughs> for my bike ride, but this is so fun on here, and um, this is beautiful. We're all like riding along the bay, and... The sunshine just feels so nice. Pete keeps teasing me because I'm not going very fast. <laughs> just because I'm still getting used to things, but it is super fun for us. So I told my mom about my bike 
and she's like, oh, I want to try it. I do want to let my mom try it, but I'm kind of a little bit nervous to let her on it. I think like in this field would be really nice because it's grassy and soft, maybe on the sand, <laughs> at least for our first couple times trying it. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be really fun for us to do together too. But um, I'm kind of wishing because I have a front rack and the back rack, I have my little backpack in there now, but I wish like Pete and I would have thought about bringing some snackies and water bottles because I'm starting to get a little bit hangry. <laughs> we don't want that to happen out on the trail, but he told me there's like a really great spot like around the corner over here with some other cool viewpoints. So we're gonna go I'm check gonna that go, out. I'm gonna practice in this grassy field going more than 10 miles an hour. More than 10? I did, I think I went 11. <laughs> <laughs> Selena, Selena's been, uh, she's been a little slow on the bike. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm lie. Disturbing. You're being safe, that's I'm good. being safe. But yeah, you said how long has it been since you rode a bike? Like 20 years since you were a little At kid? Least. Oh yeah. Wow. Well, well, what do you think of this one? Now that you're back in the saddle. Um, I would be shredding it up when I was a kid on this thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this would have been so fun. These are like a great way for people to kind of get back into it. I think everyone rode a bike as kids, right? And then yeah. it's like, you know, you get you get older and, you know, maybe you're not in as great a shape anymore. And what are you trying to say? I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying like people in general, myself included. What? <laughs> Throttle. <laughs> so you can like download an app so it allows you to go from 20 miles an hour up to 28. I personally am not there yet but eventually maybe I'll, I'll become adventurous and go more than 11 miles an hour <laughs> but that's kind of a cool feature. I don't know if many other bikes can do that. I think that's pretty neat that you can customize it for yourself. I haven't been on a bicycle in over 20 years and honestly I was like a little bit nervous to go today but the Hav Alpha e-bike is super easy to ride like seriously anybody can do this. Some fun facts about it though it's got a torque sensor it also has a first class Samsung LG battery 750 watt motor with 60 to 80 miles of riding range. It's also got this cool walking mode feature where you can push a button and it'll help push up the heavy bike up a challenging terrain or narrow trails to make it a little bit easier. If you notice the LCD screen blinking at any point in this video, I promise nothing is wrong with the bike. It's just my iPhone trying to keep up with that frame rate. A cool thing about these e-bikes is it comes with a 15 day return and a two year warranty for certain bike parts. Hovsko is also partnered with a ton of offline dealer shops so you can take a test ride and get maintenance service. As I mentioned before, I really wished I would have brought our cooler with us with some drinks and some snackies, you know, <laughs> it's just like the perfect day for having a little picnic and I totally forgot. But we made our way to one of my favorite uh, local like country diners and, and had some burgers in the afternoon. So that was really nice. But it was just awesome to kind of get away this weekend and do some activities outside before those Oregon rains start and be able to enjoy the sunset at the beach. So I hope you had fun in today's video with us and kind of getting to relax and get away too. Thanks Drift for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the link below.